Bailey and Sasha's match was just incredible. That was the night the four horse women were born. It made people sit up and pay attention. If you didn't know what we were capable of before that match, you sure knew afterward. We have never seen something like that before. What a match. That match didn't just change the way people looked at NXT. It changed the way they looked at women in WWE, period. And of course, once you've had that kind of success, you gotta repeat it. Nobody wants to be a one-hit wonder. So we went ahead and proved it again in an Iron Man rematch at NXT TakeOver Respect. They tapped out! They tapped out! These ladies raised the bar. By now, the WWE Universe's reactions to our matches were undeniable. And that led to Sasha, Charlotte, and I getting bumped up to the main roster. We weren't just fighting for ourselves. We were part of a revolution. We were invited to SummerSlam for a three-team elimination match, which was incredible. Not just the match, but being on such a big stage and thinking, okay, this is real. The women's revolution is in full swing. But after the match, Becky and I had unfinished business with the Bella Twins. This is back when we were still, uh, partners. Becky and Charlotte were a great team. And they were best friends. That was back before I got wise. Anyway, we were still friends then, and we had to show the Bellas we were here to stay. And after we beat Nikki and Brie on SmackDown, the Bellas knew we were a force. I respected the Bellas and what they've done for the women's division, but I had my sights on the Divas Championship, and that meant I wasn't done with Nikki Bella. It was the era of the four horsewomen. Take a look at the future of women's wrestling! The Bellas just didn't know it yet. I knew that if I could take the championship from Nikki, I'd be the new face of the women's division. On the one hand, I'd be following in my father's footsteps, but I'd be doing it my way. I couldn't fail, not with all that on the line. The longest reigning Divas champion in history faces her toughest threat tonight. It's Nikki Bella versus Charlotte. 301 days as champion Cole, but Nikki's bag of tricks is now empty because the title can change hands on a count out or disqualification here tonight. And that hasn't kept Charlotte and Nikki's respective backup at bay though. Team PCB and Team Bella could still be a big factor in this match. Ooh. Nasty one right to the... Oh, and Nikki fighting back with an elbow, but Charlotte's been holding her own. Charlotte landing on her feet. Swing and a miss for Nikki. And with Charlotte connected. Oh, oh Nikki on net. Yeah, but wait, wait a minute. Might have hurt herself as she hit the floor hard. You can Team Bella it. looking on over there. Oh, man, you can see the grimace on Charlotte's face. She definitely tweaked that knee inside the ring earlier. Something that the veteran Nikki Bella is sure to take advantage of. The power game is sure to increase knowing the damage she can inflict on Charlotte. Looking for the submission move, center of the ring down, uh, over and over. It's the Boston Crab. Look at the back position. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Big time clothesline. Flair showing her genetic superiority. Charlotte is rolling here. Up to the electric chair, down for the drop. One. Two. Tremendous ring presence from the apron. Charlotte is going up. Oh, look out. And it's Nikki Bella showing some agility.
Another factor about that knee injury that Renee brought up. Charlotte is going to have a tough time applying the figure eight now. You know Nikki had that move scouted, and Charlotte has just revealed another way to keep the move from getting locked in. Attack that knee hard. Oh, shoulder first. And the ring just shifted. Oh, and a knee. And another. Oh, oh. this is what's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow! Flapjack! Face first. It's over. Your perfect leg snap from Charlotte. Stop pulling her uh, leg snap. Uh, that's gonna hurt. Tear your hamstring. Oh, again. Nikki Bella's reeling. Charlotte may have her. Nikki, quick, use twin magic. Really wearing a different outfit tonight, you idiot. I'm not sure Charlotte should be showing up for competition like this. Oh, man, Charlotte just bending that leg to her will. Setting up. Dangerous situation here, guys. Downright treacherous. If Charlotte can win tonight, she will be in rare company. She will be just the second woman to become both the NXT Women's Champion and the WWE Divas Champion. The other one is at ringside tonight, fellow Team PCB member Paige. And you've got to wonder if that's on Paige's mind. She's been wary of someone else taking over what she calls her house. Oh, knee drop. Woo. Charlotte is keeping a very good tempo now, guys. We'll see how long she can keep it up. You guys mentioned Charlotte potentially joining Paige as the only women to win titles in both NXT and WWE. First off, don't worry. Nikki won't let that happen. Secondly, Paige doesn't mind sharing the spotlight. She was the one who brought on Charlotte and Becky's teammates. True, but you have to wonder if that was a case of keeping your friends close and your enemies closer. Something of note here tonight, there is no champion's advantage for Nikki Bella. The title can change hands on a count out or disqualification. Yeah, and the reason for that is because Nikki lost by disqualification on Raw six nights ago after Charlotte pinned Brie Bella during a twin magic attempt. It was a desperate move by Nikki who felt like she was gonna lose the Divas title one night short of the record. And she managed to escape with the title that night, but Stephanie McMahon laid down the law. If Nikki wants to stay champ, Charlotte going for the figure four. Once she locks it in, if she can bridge out to the figure eight, this one's over. Locked in tight. Charlotte in the. She's out. She escapes the hole. Just when it looked like her night was over, too. Snapmare. Drop kick. Great athleticism. Charlotte just bending that leg to her will. You know, I have to wonder if the cohesiveness of Team PCB is going to be a factor for Charlotte. Can she trust the women in her corner? Of course she can, Grace. They've been together for months. Well, I saw a bit of frustration in Paige's eyes when she and Becky Lynch lost the team bad on SmackDown. Also, these three women fought tooth and nail for the NXT Women's Championship. What's to say they won't do the same for the Divas title?
Setting up for Here's another thing that Team PCB has to worry about. Team Bella's bonds are unbreakable. You're talking about the Bellas, who are twin sisters. And Alicia Fox, who's traveled the world with them for half a decade. Well, we've seen Bree and Nikki butt heads on multiple occasions, so I wouldn't say that Team Bella is bulletproof. Nonetheless, if the referee does their job, neither team should be a factor tonight. You can sense it. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready Kick right to the midsection. And I think we know what's coming up next, Michael. Indeed we do. Oh, natural selection. Got to see a new champ. That slam just brought this entire arena to its feet. Let's look at the genetic superiority on display from Charlotte Flair. Here she goes. The Queen. The home run from the Queen. Charlotte certainly has to be feeling the pressure tonight. Her father has won so many titles here in WWE, and she has a prime opportunity to continue that legacy tonight. You know, I don't think she's worried. Just like her father competing in that ring comes so naturally. This night is important, but I think that she can keep a level head in there. One thing we know for sure is that win or lose, Ric Flair will still be there for Charlotte. There's a reason why she's genetically superior. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. Elbow drop. Piercing. Charlotte made her pay for her mistake there. And again! Not safe yet. Devastating elbow. This is where the trademark flair stamina has to kick in for Charlotte. Yeah, but you have to wonder if the veteran Nikki Bella has planned for that. Snap man right into her own knee. This is where the trademark flair stamina has to kick She ended here. Hey, kick it. This one's not over yet. I knew she could do it. On SmackDown, three nights after breaking the record for the longest Divas Championship reign ever, Nikki hosts... Charlotte with a nice reversal. Forward to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. There are no words for the ride these fans have gone through in this match. It has been a roller coaster, and I don't think the ups and downs are over yet. No, oh, no. Someone called the orthodontist. That's how you wear down your opponent. What are we gonna see here? Oh, neck breaker! Saw that one coming. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Make way for the Queen presence. And here comes Charlotte. Oh. She's definitely dazed now, guys. Yeah, her head's taking the blood on this attack. Knee drop. from Charlotte Flair. Woo! What's the Queen got in mind now, Byron? How about... Natural selection! The champ's eyes look glazed over. 
Jeez, and I don't like Nikki Bella's chances in this one. Let's look at the genetic superiority on display from Charlotte Flair. Nikki Bella with a nice reversal. Here we go for Charlotte. Stand by, the queen is rolling. Oh, Matt Slam with some attitude. It looks like Charlotte is setting a very good pace. The queen gaining momentum. Suplay. Bam. Everyone must bow to the queen, especially her opponent. So much impact on that lower back. What a neck breaker. Right now. 